Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Frank Warren is making moves in the heavyweight division, bolstering his stable of fighters, adding the talented prospects Zan Kosobutski, who's currently unbeaten 15-0, and also the Croatian Peter Milas, who was also unbeaten. He is currently 15-0 also. So this is actually very good for these fighters, and I've been saying for a while there's a bundle of really talented prospects that are coming through that get to a certain point and it feels like they've been stalling out. And Zan Kosobutsky in particular, I rate him really highly. He's in my top 10 prospects coming through. And I've been saying he needs to link up with someone that can push him to that next level. And while some people might think, OK, Frank Warren, his stable, is that the right move? I actually think it is. I think there is some scope there for him to get a good push and to be in some, you know, sort of step up fights that can add value to his career and start putting him in position to eventually challenging for a title. He's just recently had a fight uh, for the WBA international title that was against Honoria May Ihurami. Uh, that was a stoppage performance. He picks up his first ranking off the back of that. So he's a world rated fighter that is in position well heading towards something but he needed something else because he's been promoted by universe and box promotion the reincarnation of it but it had felt like they weren't quite able to get him to the next step and that's similar with milas as well because you know you've got a bundle of these top prospects coming through there's a number of them that are sort of fighting out of europe sort of almost toiling away in obscurity and they get to a certain point between 10 and 0 and 15 and 0 and the sort of progression almost stops. You're kind of thinking, well, where are they really going? Who's going to be able to sort of inject some life into their career? Because you see a bundle of them, and I can think of also Vladislav Serenko and uh, Alexander Zokozi. They get to a point where you feel like they're just fighting the same sorts of opponents, that their backers can't really dig their sort of hand deep enough into their pocket to pay for those progression-type fights that they need. And I think that... Um, um, in this case, Zan Kosobutsky, and he was one I was saying needed to get a co-promotional deal or join another promoter. Um, this is a good move for him. And also Peter Milas. Milas is sort of um, exactly in that mold of he'd started to build a bit of um, momentum for his career. But the past couple of years, it's almost like it's stalled out. Um, there's a couple of other guys you can think of um, that sort of fit into that category. And also Aslan Bekmakmadov, before he signed on with Golden Ball. Boy, he was in that position as well. He needed to link up with someone that could sort of, you know, inject something, some money, some hype, some buzz into his career. Some of these guys who are toiling away in obscurity, you know, they just don't get into the consciousness of boxing fans more broadly because they're out of sight, out of mind. So, yeah, this is a good move in respect of Kosobutsky and Milas. And I think there is some logical fights that Frank Warren can make. And actually, I'll just note, Frank Warren's stable, it's actually starting to really build. You know, you have Tyson Fury, although he's probably more promoted by top rank these days, even though it's a co-promotional deal. But you've got Joe Joyce. You have Daniel Dubois, Nathan Gorman, David Adelaide, and then you add these two. That's the makings of a very nice heavyweight stable. And an obvious fight that I can see that they should make, hopefully in, inside the sort of next six months to a year, for both Kosobutsky and also Milas, is Nathan Gorman. I think he is a logical sort of test and step up for both those guys. And fighting Gorman is going to tell us a lot about where they're really at. And at the moment, I rate uh, Kosobutsky higher out of the two with Milas. I think Kos Kosobutsky has the potential you know, to, to compete at the world level eventually. But he needs that sort of final push and development and that final sort of prospect phase of his career, fringe contender level, right fights at the right time. And joining on with Frank Warren, I think he might be able to get that. Gorman seems like a logical test and a step up for both these guys. Whether they can actually uh, sort of make that happen, it's another question. Or even potentially, I mean, Peter Milas and Zan Kosobutsky. I'd love to see them square off as well. 
but that's probably not going to be happening um, but yeah i do like the addition of these two guys to the stable and some people might say well why not join you know in the united states with someone else or potentially why not even join with matchroom because i think it's it's clear in this day and age in the heavyweight division you either have to be um, having a profile in the united kingdom or the us to really sort of make a move make an impact and i guess with the matchroom side of things they're already pretty much oversubscribed in terms of the number of good heavyweights that they've got you know or at all levels pretty much but even their prospects have got quite a few and you can think some of the better prospects in the division and Philip Hergovic for example uh, but there does seemingly in the past year or two some of the match from heavyweights there's been a bit of drift you can think uh, guys like Zhang Gilei or um, Martin Bacoli sometimes you've sort of thought it would have been nice if they had the fight that they just had like two fights ago uh, so you know I think with them having a lot of heavyweights and a lot of cards to fill, a lot of mouths to feed in terms of um, doling out fights, all that sort of stuff, I think going to a guy like Frank Warren who has the platform for BT and didn't necessarily have a massive heavyweight stable and uh, his heavyweights were at all different levels as well, just fewer of them compared to Matchroom, I think this is a, a good step. Frank Warren benefits having another couple of really good prospects and I rate Zan Kosobutsky inside my top 10 heavyweight prospects right now so you can think of the sort of top five or six guys that we all know the you know the names are well known to us and then Zan Kosobutsky is right there after them for me um, so he just needs the opportunity now Peter Milas uh, a couple of years ago because of what he was doing he stopped um, Francesco Pianetta had a good win over Kevin Johnson he just has stalled out so a couple of years ago I think it was my 2019 top prospects video I had him somewhere near the back end of my top 10. Because of an activity, a little bit of injury, sort of slipped down my board a little bit. But this is a good opportunity for both these guys to have a platform, to show what they can do, and to get into some more meaningful fights. And after all, this is what they need to really progress their career. So I like the move. It sort of benefits everyone by the look of it. Well, on paper and Frank Warren, you know, good move from him. But what do you make of it? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.